Let's create these three visual effects in Touch Designer. The operators we're going to use are Texture 3D and Time Machine. Texture 3D allows you to store 2D textures in a Z axis. Uh, so you can think of as a book have different pages. In this scenario, we want to loop a video and use different um, frame of that video to create our visuals. Um, to zoom in, we can see Time Machine have two input. The first one is the stack of the image we want to use, in this case, different uh, frames of this video. And then the second input will be a grayscale uh, texture where it used to define how we're going to pull the image. Let's uh, start from scratch. Uh, you pull in a movie file in, a slow, um, repetitive video works best for these kind of visuals. And then you add a texture 3D and a time machine and a, and a now. Then we add the ramp as a grayscale. Gray scale. We want to change the ramp uh, resolution to parent panel size. And then add the limit. Contact mm -hmm. to ceiling. And you can already see some effects going on on the right side. Um, by default, Texture 3D have 32 cache as a cache size, which means there are 32 image. And we want to uh, set it higher so that uh, the visual will look better. And we want to uh, use the cache here, set the number here. Let's say 60 for our case. And then we um, chop the reference here, and we also want to change it in the black offset here. It means uh, the whole range is 60, so we make sure we make use of the whole frames. The black means the oldest frame, and the white means the nearest frame, so our, uh, in our visuals, it will always uh, start from the newest to the oldest from the right to left. And to make it more uh, interesting, you can lower down the, the period to 0 0.1 and the limit. Make it smaller. And it's already uh, quite interesting. If we change the phrase, we'll create this kind of a ripple effect. So we can add a Apps, um, seconds and to slow it down we can also put the period lower so you have the sleek effects um, which works really well with the flowers and um, these single point uh, objects and then uh, we head on to create our second uh, visual. This time we want to use a noise. And then we can just copy all of this. Um, and set the resolution to Current panel size and the pixel format to um, 32 bit flow mono, also for this one, so our visuals will look better. Um, and then I want to change the period to um, zero.
it already looks great. Uh, you can see how it looks like to add the limit. Uh, you can change the position step here to create these pixelated effects. Um, I think it looks really cool. And then the last effects. Uh, the last one, we add a transform. Um, and we can scale the image up and put the extent to mirror. And then we add some movements to, uh, to this image. So it start moving and then we add the textures 3D connected to um, to time, time machine. Now it looks like this. Uh, you can also uh, scale it down. Depends on what kind of effects you are looking for. Um, and for the uh, noise here, let's make a slightly different noise. Um, we can scale the pixel up and place down. Uh, maybe way small so it will have these um more straight uh, vertical ones and if we slip it down slide the first one okay yeah actually i think this looks maybe let's try to This also looks really nice. So um, you can see the noise looks like uh, like this now. So depending on your visuals, you can manipulate different parameters, get different results. Uh, just having fun, there's a lot of uh, parameters. After a simple tweak, uh, it will get very interesting results. The last step, I would just want to organize my uh, network. It provides clarity when you come back to your file. What I like to do is, uh, oh, option, oh, no. So now we put all of these three together, together with our first one. Hope you like this tutorial and looking forward if you use this technique to make more cool videos. See you next time.